It's exiting near all-time highs, but a number of familiar names are sitting out the rally, hovering around one-year lows. So that begs the question, is now the best time to go bottom fishing? Here to reel in some of those names for us is the one and only Dom Chu. Hi, Dom. Well, Melissa, who wouldn't want to spend a nice little afternoon fishing? And some traders are fishing for deeper value stocks, perhaps some of the ones hovering near 52-week lows. There are around 30 stocks in the S&P that are within 5% of that respective mark. Now, they span different industries, each with its own set of reasons why it hasn't necessarily joined in in a market rally. You've got AT&T, which wants a deep dive into media content. It paid up big for Time Warner, only to face a government antitrust suit and then win it, and now faces an appeal by those same regulators. Just some of the factors that have T shares above about 3% above their recent lows. Then you got IBM, where Big Blue is working on trying to convince investors to stop singing the blues about revenue declines. CEO Ginny Rometty is working on increasing business in things like cloud computing and artificial intelligence related applications. There's Carnival Cruise Lines. That stock has found some rough seas. It didn't help when it said last month that a rising dollar and rising fuel costs would put a damper on full year profits. It's now just about 4% above recent lows. And then there's L Brands struggling to get more customer traffic through its stores, especially at Victoria's Secret. Those shares are now around 5% above their recent lows. From a valuation perspective, you're also talking about a slate of stocks like those four that now trade at a discount to their peers. And Melissa, that's just a sample of some of the stocks that have had a tough time as of late, but could be turnaround trades if things can get fixed. Back over to you. All right. Thank you very much, Dom Chu. Well, with these stocks uh, hovering so close to their 52-week lows, we thought we'd ask our traders to do a little bottom fishing great, with these yeah, it's names. It's a great day to fish. It's actually kind of stormy out there. So, so we've done this before, but just, you know, to review. We'll take at t as an example. We'll go around the horn. If the trader thinks it's a good catch, you will see this. Oh. If they think it's a dead fish, you'll see this. Get it? No sound effect, though. Yeah. Very well. It's yeah. dead. Yeah. It's dead. Uh, it doesn't yeah. make any. Come on, Tim. <laughs> so, All right. So we're going to start with Karen, and we will okay. start with AT and T. All right. Is this a good catch or a dead fish? I'm going to go with the silent dead fish, <laughs> and here's why. You know, you have a core business that is really under attack, right? And you have a big merger that's a lot of integration, which actually the integration is on hold while the government pursues an appeal. You have a lot of debt that went along with that. The only thing going in its favor aren't enough for me, a big dividend and a low P.E., but you've got a lot of risk with this debt balance sheet, the business being under attack, the main business, and the new merger. It's a lot. I'd pass. Dead fish. See, this, this would be a dead fish if it was trading at 42 where it was, you know, a year ago. But to me, this is a great catch. Where's that sound effect with the lively fish? Flipper. That green one. <laughs> the green, okay, it's gone. I don't think you're it's, allowed it's to do it. It's good like catch. Bottom, good catch. Oh, there you go. Whatever. I mean, uh, you know, the bottom line is I would buy <laughs> AT&T, and here's why. I, I think they've been punished on both sides of this merger, going through or not going through. I realize the wireless space is an incredibly competitive business. I think they stole Time Warner on the basis of where media assets are being valued right now. And why can't these guys compete direct to consumer? Uh, I think they will. Let's move on. Let's do it. Please. L Brands. <laughs> Ooh. Good catch or dead fish, Tim Seymour. This is a great catch. I mean, mm. bottom line, wow. is this, this is, well, you I know, mean, if you could put two the, green fishes product, up, Tim. you would. Yeah. The stock. Look, mm -hmm. I, it, basically, this is a story of two brands. You've got VS and you've got Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works is growing 10% in terms of their comps. They've actually turned it around. VS, Victoria's Secret, uh, despite the, the, the catalog, despite the calendar, whatever it is, it's not working. Um, this is, to me, a place where the comps are really getting easy for this company. But the valuation now, roughly, it's about 10 times on a trailing. But even on a forward where you've taken earnings from 4 bucks in 2016, they're probably going to be about 280 290 a share. This is 12, 13 times. It traded at 20 times. I like this stock here. This, I think it's a buy. This has got to be a dead fish or dead catch or a catch that's dead when you catch it. <laughs> so they rely on so, so Timmy pointed out the revenue Hold streams. on a second. Victoria, the fish now they is gave a toilet you. sound. Well, Victoria's Secrets brand, they rely 60% of their revenues are generated from there. So if that one suffers, the stock is going to continue to suffer. Down 46% year to date. You're reaching a cultural change where I don't know, and I can't speak you're from, not, from, from experience. Stuff? Can't speak from experience, but I think you're reaching a cultural change as to what women would rather wear. Maybe we should ask two of them. I, it would be more of an athleisure. 
don't, leisure versus I would lingerie. Stop, I would stop Deep dive by Steve Rosso and what women want to wear. It's down 46%. <laughs> Stock shareholders have spoken already. <laughs> it's not knew? going anywhere. Who knew? I, I, so earlier today, I thought this was my my okay. LB, yeah. and I was thinking, oh no way. Then I looked at it much more closely, and I completely agree with Tim on valuation. So you it's both cheap. could be wrong. We Very absolutely bad. that happens often. <laughs> We're both wrong, but I think here, this is a this is a company that. I mean, it has a grand history of being a retailer. They know they are in a seriously different environment here. I think they'll get it together, and I think at this valuation, there's not a ton of risk. All right. mm. Let's move nice. on. Please. Nice. Carnival, good catch or dead fish? Oh, it's, it's a, I think it's a great catch. And think of it, you're out on one of those cruise ships. You throw a line behind you, you might catch that green, ugly mm. fish. Are we on a budget or something at Fast Money? <laughs> Why? Did what's, a, what's wrong with that fish? There are holes in there. They didn't even color it's it like in the stamp. entire it's way. Like a, it's like a stamp. Like those paint stamps. Speckled you trout. And then you speckled like trout. I think it looks very authentic. Speckled trout. Anyway. Listen, if you go back and look at the quarter, their quarter was excellent. Their guidance scared a lot of people. But, you know, fuel costs, I think it's already in the stock. It's more expensive than RCL. Trades at 12 times forward earnings. But you have a very compelling story in terms of their growth. So if I'm fishing, which I like to do despite the fact that I get seasick, which is why I'll never be on a carnival cruise. Mm. Oh, guy gets seasick. Mm. It's adorable guy. Oh. All right. Wait, let's quickly move on here because we want to get to IBM. <laughs> <laughs> IBM, good catch or dead fish, Grasso? This years ago was my secular bear stock, and I do believe that it's still in that classification. Stock is down year to date. If I'm going to play in the space, I'd rather go with an S&P. This one can't get out of its own way. So it looks like a, a double fish. top. It's a bear and a fish, and yeah, bears fish. eat fish, and sometimes they're dead when they eat. Um, Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.